guys welcome back to my channel it's brief from with love green today i have another haul video <laughs> um so today i wanted to share with you guys what i picked up from joann's michael's and hobby lobby so um i'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys first what i grabbed from joann's i only went there just to grab kalea a toy while she was out with me uh, we actually went out to get some dessert while i had some family over and um yeah i did a quick trip like really quick and I did grab more colors of diamond dots. These were not clearance or on sale, but um, I did get them with a 20% discount um, using a coupon. And so I just grabbed some colors that, um, like pink colors, they don't have a lot like Hobby Lobby did. I don't know if Hobby Lobby is gonna get any since they've had a big, sorry, since they had a big clearance um, on these and they're all gone now. So I just grabbed some pink because I do need more pink in my stash. Um, and I always get asked what I do with these. I have some videos of me using these. I use it to decorate my ephemera or embellish it. I use it for shakers, um, just everything. I, I literally use them for everything. So um, that's why I always grab them because when you use them for shakers, you kind of put a lot of them in there, um, you know, just so that way you have enough. So. I just grabbed a couple more colors um, in pink and then I also grabbed some yellows and minty greens. So those were the colors that I went for um, that trip. And then that was what I grabbed from Joann's. And then I did look in the clearance section um, and I saw that these Princess Disney discs were actually clearanced out, which I actually had in my cart online. So I did pick up a pack of these. And... Then I found these diamond dots and these were clearanced out to $2.47 and you get five pieces in here. Um, it was kind of open. Oh, it's a yellow. So let me just open up the pack while I got y'all here. I found this again in my the clearance section at my store. So, ooh, these are really cute. I don't know if this green, is it this one? Oh yeah, so this green is 8236. I like these jars because they don't have the sticker on them. So they just open up really nicely. But um, here they are, the colors that come in there. They were pastel. And this is the only set that I found. Of course, if I found more of them, I would have grabbed them all because 247 for the pack of five is perfect. I think these are each 199. So yeah, this is a great deal for these. Um, for this pack right here so i'm just going to throw those there since they're in the jars and everything i don't need that box get rid of that okay and then that was it from joann's like i said really small haul and then i grabbed some kinetic sand that kalea wanted so <laughs> that was there and then from michael's i saw that their easter stuff was 60 percent off so this was 12.99 and it's this really cute little organizer um, and I was thinking of altering it, putting some paper and then painting it. I'm not sure yet, but it looks like this is already like coming off. So I'm, I'm thinking I could probably take that off and do something with it. But the cool thing about this, um, when I got home, I actually saw that you can actually take these out and alter it to however you want to use it. So I was thinking, you know, like if I want to put something on my desk and, um, put flowers in here, I can alter however size like whatever size I need obviously you want to keep one of these in I kind of messed up on that part but uh, sorry didn't want to hurt your ears but as you guys can see there's some bigger ones and smaller ones so I thought that was really cool um if anything I would probably paint these of course pink but yeah sorry clay is painting so you might hear her so I did grab that again it was 60% off so it was really cheap um and so I did put that there. Um, and then I did grab these. These were 40% off. Um, I've shared these before. Um, I actually use these to decorate my um, pegboards. But this time I think I'm going to use them for some packaging stuff. So I did grab two packs. I was going to grab a yellow one. But I decided on two pinks. Um, because the yellows had three different yellows and there was one that was like really bright and I just didn't want to like waste a pack. So I thought pink would be the best way to go, um, for the flowers. So I did grab those. Okay. So there's that. And then 
Um, for anybody that has kids, sorry, I'm reaching down, but um, anyone that has kiddos, if you guys didn't see or have seen this sensory dough, I grabbed you um, right now. They were buy one, get one 50% off. So Kaleo loves Play-Doh and I'm tired of buying Play-Doh every freaking week. Like I buy the huge pack from Walmart and it comes with like 20 something pieces, but yeah, she goes through them like crazy. So I saw that this was $3.99 and it comes with four different colors in their pastel. They also have colorful ones, but she really loves like pastels. And then there's this one right here, which was $5.99 and it comes with two sets of each color, but they're smaller packs. But if your child goes through these, dries them out or whatever, I was thinking when that happens, these little containers would be perfect for your craft room. So obviously if you have little small children, um, then you could always reuse them. But I'm pretty sure once they get older, they start to learn how to put things back. Hopefully my kids do, but yeah, I grabbed those. And then, um, because like I said, she goes through them and for $5.99 plus 50%, why not? Um, they also have a bigger pack, which is $14.99. And sorry if I'm talking fast, you guys, but I think this haul is going to be long, so I'm going to try my best to go through it. But they also have this pack, which has 20 pieces in here, and this was $14.99. So it's just cheaper. I think the Play-Doh one for like 20-something pieces is like 20-something dollars. So this one is perfect. Um, it comes with all these colors right here at the bottom. So she gets all the colors and then she has her pastels and the pastel ones actually have some like shimmer in them and I'm kind of curious as to how these feel so yeah I can't wait to show her those because I did not show her these and they've been sitting in the bag for a minute so I can't wait to show her those she's gonna be really excited okay so next um oops <laughs> so next I have these shaped clay glitter um like mixes or I guess not really mix but shaped clay glitter and shaped glitter and um these were actually clearanced out to two dollars each and this was in the creatology like section where they have the sequins for the kids crafts the only one that I got um not all of them were clearanced out but the only one I got was the rainbow ones because I just wanted something different just to have in my stash and then this really cute like flower pink and purple one I just thought they were really princessy and it reminded me of Tangled and I love Tangled so I thought I'd grab just those two I did have three other packs of sequins like bag sequins that were clear and stuff to three dollars each but I grabbed way more things after that and I was like I can't spend this much I just spent so much at Hobby Lobby and everywhere else so <laughs> I um, opted out on those, but I did get these. I love the containers too, so that way I don't have to re uh, package those up and just throw them with my sequins. And then this was on clearance. This was random though, because the other ones were not on clearance, and I bought one for Kalea to put her crayons in. But this was 50 cents and it was $1.99, and it's just a white, like glittered one. And I like to alter these to put embellishments in like larger ones if you haven't seen the mail that i sent to stephanie um my bff crafty bff um she i actually altered like a little caboodle box for her so that's kind of what i want to do here i actually haven't i have a video recording of or like a tutorial of me or process video sorry of me putting one together like the top of the caboodle box i just haven't gotten it out so hopefully i can get that out um but yeah so that's why i grabbed that and 50 cents why not um i like that it was white too and then all the sprays and like the inks and stuff were buy one get one 50 so i've done a haul like this before where i bought all the sets of the um, Tim Holtz Distress Oxides from Michaels. The only one I didn't get was the brown set, which I forgot to grab today. But I did grab some of the Delusion sprays, and I got the pinkish purple set, and then the pink purple blue. The other one was a shimmer, and um, I didn't really want it. So I grabbed this, or these two. I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like my camera looks really light. I don't know. <laughs> But here's how this one looks. So you get like this purple periwinkle color and then a turquoise color. And then there's a pink, a magenta, and a purple. Another type of purple. This one's more like light and pastel. 
So I grabbed those and I don't really use my inks, but when I do, ew, <laughs> when I do use my inks, um, you know, it, they're always so fun. So I always grab them when they're on sale if I need them. So I did get those for my collection. Um, I need to add another shelf because my shelf is actually really full on my wall of all my sprays. So I gotta get one of those and yeah. Anyway, so let me go ahead and share it with you guys. I think, is that it? Hmm, yeah. I think that's it for those things. And then I did get some paper pads. So I want to show you guys some new paper pads that I saw. Um, I was not planning on getting paper pads, you guys. I am tired of buying paper pads because I get collections now. But I couldn't say no to these when I saw them. Um, I was taking a quick glance because I noticed they were only $9.99. And they were um, buy one, get one fifty as well. So I was like, you know what? Let me just see what they got. And... Yeah, and I left with four four paper pads, four of them. So, um, well, two I got two of the same pad because of something I bought from Hobby Lobby, which is awesome. Honestly, I'm so glad that they had this paper pad because I'll tell you why later. But let me share with you guys the paper pads. The ones that I grabbed was this one. This is called, I don't see a name, so I'm not entirely, oh, duh, hello rainbow wave you guys are all probably staring at it and i'm not seeing it because i'm blind um but yeah so that's the recollections rainbow wave it's a really pretty like bright colorful paper pad i don't know why i need this i always buy things like this and not use it but <laughs> i wanted another paper pad and i was like no you need to step away from that color scheme and get something different so i did um, and then the other one was here, um, or there's this one called terracotta. And I thought for my, um, I was thinking for my Hawaii trip, I can, um, actually use this paper. And then this one right here is called sunny days ahead. And this one, um, is, there's a reason why I got this one and, or kind of the reason why I got the paper pads. Um, and I grabbed two of these ones because I just love how it looks and, um, Again, I'll share with you guys something I grabbed from Hobby Lobby that goes well with this. So let me share with you guys. Here's the other one. I'll share with you guys these three quickly here. Uh, like I said, this haul video is probably going to be long because I'm going to try to flip through these. But I'll do my best to go through them fairly quickly. I'm just going to open up one side of this and... Maybe we could flip through it like that, but okay. So again, this one here is called Sunny Days Ahead. So you get two of each sheet, and I don't know if you guys can see this pattern, but there's like random dots on that one. Let me put this out the way. Oh, you get three sheets of each one. I didn't even notice that. How cute are these rainbows? They have like this gold foiling on them. So that one is Sunny Days Ahead. And then the next one is Terracotta. So this one does give off like boho vintage, or not vintage, but boho vibes. So this one here has that terracotta color and it looks like a faux leather piece. So this will be really fun to do kind of like a 3D project or a journal with, without having that texture.
I did have another collection I wanted, or I did have another paper pad that I saw that I wanted, and it was a little bit brighter, um, but I just ended up going with this more muted paper pad. And then this one right here is called Rainbow Wave. And you guys, this one is so bright, but I have some things from Damask Love that I feel like would go with this. So that's why I chose to get it was because I felt like I did have some embellishments or ephemera that would go with this. And that's kind of like what I was going for with all of these paper pads was do I have something other than the paper that I can use with this collection? So that way I can get the army I mean, keep, keep saying collection. You know what I mean? with this paper pad or uh, with these paper pads um so that i can get the most use out of them so that's the only reason why i grab these paper pads or else i wouldn't have but Some of these patterns really give off like the Obed Marshall collections, but I am not mad about it. So those are the paper pads um, from Michaels by Recollection. And then that is it from Michaels. I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what I grabbed from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I did pause to actually give Kalea another activity, which was the Play-Doh. <laughs> I wanted her to kind of move on from the painting to um, the Play-Doh. So I did actually open up one side of the Play-Doh for her. I don't give her every single one. I usually only give her one or two Play-Dohs at a time, like per day, because sometimes, most of the time, they dry up. Okay, so she does forget to close them. But the cool thing about these are they actually stack up on top of each other. So each of these you can, like, stack up. So I just wanted to share <laughs> that with you guys, because these are the kinds of things that I get excited about. So I thought that was really cool. And each one of these are sparkly. There's like glitter in there. And what I love about these is that the color of them are kind of translucent. Like they, like Play-Doh, yeah, it has that too. But if you guys can see, I don't know. I know I'm, I shouldn't be talking about Play-Doh on here. But you guys, it, it feels so nice. I did play a little bit with her. Um, and it did feel really nice. So... Um, I'm glad that I grabbed those and at least now I know how much those cost and they're super cheap and that's where I'm going to grab them now. So I did get those um, from obviously Michaels. So now to Hobby Lobby. Um, I did grab some Christmas stuff. Christmas in July is coming. I'm not entirely sure if I'm actually going to do Christmas in July, but I was working on something for a design team project and it was Christmas related. So I grabbed these um, not because of that projects but because they're new to me so I don't I don't remember seeing these last year during Christmas so I got really excited when I saw these and how cute is this set of foam stickers um I noticed that with their foam stickers too they are like kind of like the color that the um sticker set is kind of going off of so some of them had like white foam some had I think yellow foam I'm not sure but this had red because it was Christmas so I thought that was really cool and I love the font too um, they have the script and they even have the fun fun text here so I did grab two of those I want to share with you guys these things first before all the other stuff because I know this is going to get blocked out and I want to share with you guys the item that I got that matches this that I 
want to show you guys so that way in case you guys grab these paper pads you can grab the stuff that I grabbed too um, so you have it in your set too um, that's what I'm here for is to have y'all um, join me in my addiction <laughs> no I'm just kidding I don't want to be addicted but um, yeah so anyway and then these ones right here are new to me too how cute are these Santa mugs they are so adorable so I went to Hobby Lobby and I noticed that my, like, I spent a lot, okay? But I didn't think I'd spent as much as I did. And I was like, there's no way I spent that much when all of the stuff was 40% off. Well, come to find out, none of it was marked down 40% off. And I was a little confused. I looked online and I saw that the sale was actually not this week. It was last week. So I think they had a sign that was left out and they forgot to take it down so i gave them a call the same day and luckily they said you know just come in and we'll grant you that 40 percent off of you know all your paper studio stuff but unfortunately i couldn't go in that same day so i went in that next morning which was today and i got a good amount of money back not a lot but a good amount so yeah anyway that's that's what happened <laughs> so um these stickers they were brand new to me and I couldn't say no to these little mugs. They do sell these mugs in store during Christmas too. I remember grabbing one and they're like the mini ones. So I had to get these. I can't wait for Christmas to come because I might grab a couple more. I'm obsessed with those. Um, and then Christmas related stuff. Again, I got these adhesive gems. They're the holly berry and leaves. So I got two packs of those and they look like this. I might use these on the project that I'm working on. Um, and then I just bought these just to have in my stash. I used all these up from Kalea's first birthday, which was two years ago. Can't believe she's turning three already soon in like a month. Ugh, it's making me sad. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so I grabbed some of these Monstera leaves and I'm thinking of using those in my album. Um, and then I got these. These are new to me and they're like pearlescent or like opal. Um, adhesive gems and then I got some rhinestones in pink blue and green just to have in my stash because I love the different sizes so I got those and um okay and then the next things I'm going to share with you are going to be like related to the pads I noticed one of the things I grabbed actually matches I think this pad at the bottom um which one is that one called the terracotta paper pad so I'm really excited to share with you guys but this right here and these are from two different days so I was really glad to see everything but um I got this washi I don't really use washi tape but I loved the little smileys on here and then the florals um I love that pink and orange together normally I don't really go for like orange unless it's fall but I thought that this was such a cute washi tape and it was only $3.99 plus the 40% off that I was able to get. So um, I did grab that. And then these are what I wanted to share. So this right here, um, these are, again, a lot of this stuff is new to me, which is why I grabbed them. I was only going there just to, I went after my nail appointment and I literally just went there to go look for um, any clearance stuff. <laughs> that I probably missed out on aka diamond dots or anything else so that's the only reason why I went and then I started seeing new things and I was like ah oh, dang it and then there was a 40% sign so I was like I'll just grab them um but anyway I saw that they have new die cuts and they're mainly they're kind of like for journaling so I grabbed two packs of these they're only $4.49 and you get 50 designs two of each total of 100 pieces like each of these holds 100 per pack and I really want to get into like journaling again and I want to try to use more vintage pieces I've been into the ASMR freaking journaling videos and <laughs> they've been getting me to like try to buy things like this I know that's not their purpose they just want to you know obviously relax us with those noises but I did grab two of these and what's cool about these ephemera packs is it shows what's in it on the back so uh, there's a bunch of florals and butterflies my two favorite things and I'm absolutely loving everything about this so I'm not going to flip through this one um, just because I have so many packs and this video will take me forever 
but here is a glimpse of what does come inside in case you guys do want to grab them because when they go 40% off this is such a great deal they end up becoming like two something and that's totally worth it or like three dollars so there's that one um and then I did grab one pack of these like more vintage ones and my sister I'm sorry I'll call you back sissy <laughs> but here is this pack this one is more like a shabby chic this kind of reminds me of mintai so if you have mintai collections this definitely gives off those vibes and this is what it looks like and again a hundred pieces you guys and look at this set this one's less colorful it's a little more pastel and muted but i wanted to try out this set again for journaling so i got one of those to try out oh there's only one left but you know i would have grabbed two <laughs> What baby? They sell. Huh? They sell coffee food. Oh, you can hear mommy's phone ringing. Okay, I got my phone. Thank you. I got it. Thank you. You okay? What happened? Hey guys, <laughs> I think my uh, my older phone was ringing too. So, cause they're all connected. So, <laughs> anyway, she was trying to tell me that my phone was ringing. Okay. Um. So these two packs of ephemera pieces um go with the paper pads that i grabbed so first one is this one right here this is one of the older ones that i've seen before and i got these ephemera packs before i grabbed the paper pads so these i got yesterday and then these are grabbed today so this one right here has all these like i don't know what would you say like beachy kind of themed um floral pieces and now that I look at it, it just, for some reason, it matches the terracotta collection. I think there's like that little bit of terracotta in there. So yeah, let's see. Let me check it out. Oof. Goodness. Yeah, look at that. Like that matches pretty damn well. Like, let me see. I think these would make perfect ephemera pieces, you guys. So, um, if you guys have a Hobby Lobby and a Michaels next to you, go to Michaels, grab the paper pads, and then go to Hobby Lobby and grab these die cut. Oh, these are stickers. Sorry. But either way, grab the stickers because you can turn these easily. You don't even have to take the backings off and just use them as ephemera pieces. So that way, at least, you know, your paper pad goes a long way. Um, it's always nice to have ephemera so that way you can use it kind of together. But yeah, does that not go together? That's like pretty perfect. So there's that one. And then look at this. I grabbed two of these because I thought they were so cute. And <gasps> the paper pad I think just goes so well. So I have so many of these. Um, here, let me share the other paper pad. Sorry guys, a lot of ruffling. Um, there's just a lot of movement going on right now, um, in my video. I don't have much space because I'm working on stuff, but let me share this one. I just thought this would go well with this one, maybe. Um, uh, maybe. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm like, ah. So if you guys grab this paper pad or if you have this paper pad, go to Hobby Lobby when this is 40% off because these will go so well with it and look at the what comes in this one so do your own thing make today happy focus on the good all you need is love fab love 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 be the best version of you no bad days how pretty is a set i just think it's going to go so well with this one and as crafters we always make things work so i think it's going to be okay even if some of the colors don't match but most of them do and look how cute is that hand holding the flower and then i saw on this one this camera so yeah i grabbed two packs you guys i'm not even mad that i grabbed two packs now i was gonna give one to my daughter but i'm gonna have to keep them both for this paper pad since i have two pads and yeah we'll just see how that goes <laughs> um Okay, so I had to just kind of shift some things around off camera so you guys wouldn't get annoyed by all of that crinkling. 
Um, so let me go ahead and share with you guys more things that I grabbed. Like I said, this is going to be a long video, but I'll do my best to get through it. Okay, so um, from the scrapbooking section, I did get these 12 by 12 strap hinge um, slip-on refill sleeves. So I got these to make shakers and also um, like packaging with. I haven't opened it yet, but it was only $7.99. And because it's the paper studio, it did get the 40% off. Um, so let me just see how it looks with you guys. Yeah, these are good quality for only $7.99. If you craft and you don't, you know, do scrapbooking, these would be perfect to make shakers with. Because, oh, I see, I see. They are beyond, like just straight up open. Okay, um, my whole hand went through. So they are open on both sides, but you can go ahead and seal it up with a sewing machine or your um, fuse tool and you can make different size, um, you know, packaging or shakers. But anyway, I think that this is still a good value, $7.99 for 20 slip-on sleeves. And since they're both open on both sides, you can, you know, just um, make whatever size that you would like. So I got two packs of those to have in my stash. And then I did grab some pink tissue paper for when I'm ready to send out some mail. So I did grab just one of the pink. Um, they're only 99 cents, so that's always a good deal. And then from the vinyl section i did grab some of this opal pink vinyl i've never seen this before but um they were 249 each this one doesn't get the discount because it already gives a dollar off and it's your price when it's your price you don't get a discount so i got three of those i didn't really want all three because i didn't realize that it said your price um i thought i was gonna get the 40 percent um but either way, whatever, it was on sale, kind of-ish. So I went ahead and I got three of those. I don't exactly know what I'm doing with it, but it's always good to have vinyl on hand, I guess. Um, and then I did get my daughter some paintbrushes. They're only $4.99, and she goes through these too. Like, if she doesn't put it in the water right away, they do get hard. She's, um, like I said, going to be three, so hopefully by then she'll um, make these last a little longer. <laughs> but her dad's pretty good about... Um, soaking them through the night so they always survive um okay so i got those and then i saw this antique white fine tip marker and i thought i would try it out i was thinking maybe for tag making i can use the um, fine tip markers to put to and from if i don't want to stamp or if i forget so i got these to try out and i want to customize some of my kids shoes and believe it or not sometimes when their shoes are dirty like their white shoes I want to paint on them and just customize them because that's what I used to do with my shoes. I used to make them Disney themed. If the white were dirty, I would just wash them up and then I would just repaint them and then get a new pair to wear as white. <laughs> so I want to try these out too on, um, on fabric. So we'll see how that goes before I buy a bunch of colors. I didn't want to buy a bunch of colors. I put them away because I didn't know how they were going to work on fabric. I know there are fabric paint markers, but these say that they are um, water and weather resistant and for indoor and outdoor use. So we'll see. And multi-service. And they're cheap, so why not? Um, okay, and then from the papery shop, I got some adhesive springs. I do like to use these. I have a Christmas like video that I have never posted or edited from last year. So hopefully I can get that out and then you guys will see what I do with these but I grabbed another pack of those and then I'm stocking up on some photo corners so I got one of the white and then I got two of these which are like an off-white and I wanted to have both in my stash and for $2.49 that's actually a really good deal so yeah I was glad to see that Hobby Lobby has their own brand of photo corners and I love zip dry. It's like, how much? Eight bucks. So this was one of the glues that I loved on top of um, my, what is this? Fabri-Tac. But zip dry dries really quick. Fabri-Tac does too, but I do love this glue as well. So I did grab another one to have in my stash because it's been a while since I've used this. A very long time actually. So um, I did grab that to have in my craft room. 
I also grabbed more E6000 because I go through this like crazy. And I always like to get the mini ones because my larger tubes, I've already threw out three that have hardened up and I just hate when it clogs up and whatever. So I grabbed a pack of those. Um, and then from the diamond dot section, I saw they have these diamond painting storage boxes and I do use the insides to store my diamond dots that come in kits, which I don't get anymore, but I grabbed these cause these would be fun to use, um, or whatchamacallit, <laughs> um, these would be really fun to store like different clay pieces or anything that you buy from an online shop that will actually fit in these. So I grabbed four of them cause they were only $1.99. So I was like, yeah, might as well buy while I'm here. So I grabbed four of those to do some storage stuff with. Um, and then in the little office section from Fiddlesticks, I've shared um, some envelopes before. They were larger ones, but now they have these smaller ones. So I grabbed two of them and they're 99 cents. Um, and they have like just that button closure. You know this. So, so like this. It has a snap closure. And again, you can just organize whatever you want in these. And I don't know. I just grabbed a couple just to try them out because I have some of the larger ones. So I got two of those. Sorry for the glare, guys. And I'm trying to go through this fast for you guys so you're not here forever. Okay, and then I saw this. This is a like little to-do, um, top priority shopping list. Don't forget, it was only $2.99. Oh my goodness. Um, and I'm trying to, you know, organize my life. It, it is really hard though, but... <laughs> I really want to so I have a digital planner I have a physical planner I also have things like this and I barely use them but I couldn't say no to this I'm really gonna you know try to use this um, even if I have to cut it up put it in my planner do whatever so I did get that um, and then I saw this pad and this one is a magnetic pad it's $3.99 but look how cute this is. It says things to do. So if you have a magnetic um, board in your room, you can use this. But the list pad is like has pink check, um, check boxes and then it has the pink lines and you just tear it off. So I grabbed those to organize my life out. Since the kids are getting older too, there's just so much more things that, you know, are getting done with appointments and just everything else. So I did get that. Um, and then I got this journal. I don't know why I have so many journals, but I love the glitter and it was only $6.99. Um, and it is lined, but I was thinking I can do like project ideas. I have so many project idea journals that I just don't use, but I don't know. We'll see what I use this one for, but I did grab this for $6.99. And then this doesn't go on sale, but it's part of the craft tools. I got this cutting mat so that way I can use a smaller cutting mat I have so many again I just love cutting mats and scissors so I already use this one but I thought I would grab a clear one um maybe for my videos and stuff I can use this and $7.99 not too bad um this size is 8.66 inches by 11.81 very specific I think they're including like the outer edges and stuff so um, I did grab one of those. Okay, so um, from the table decor, it was 50% off and they had this really cute little cake stand. They had a medium and a larger size one, but I just need the small one for my craft room. I wanted to get two, but you guys, <laughs> I buy things for my craft room to like display things on and I never use it. They just sit in a closet. So I only grabbed one and I just thought it was really cute. I love the scallop. Um, border so I grabbed that and then I saw this um, colander is that what that is it's like the little um, strainer or something like that I think it's a colander um, and it has the cute florals on the side they did have a pink one and you guys be proud of me I didn't grab it I grabbed the white one because the pink just had like splotches of white on it um, because obviously when you start I don't know. I did ceramic in high school and, you know, we would dip our projects in the glaze and there's colors. So I would understand why, you know, the glaze doesn't hit certain areas, but it just, 
it wasn't to my standards, I guess you could say it. I don't know. But anyway, um, I grabbed the white one. I just love how it looks. So I grabbed this for my craft room. Why not? I know. I don't know what I need it for, but whatever. Don't judge me. Y'all can get it if you want it though. <laughs> so next up is some beads and like string. I know that's kind of random, but um, from the paper studio, I did grab some of this white like cotton twine. And whoa, something's sliding. And it looks like this. Um, it's $6.99, but again, 40% off that I got it. So got one of those and then these are regular price but this was $5.99 it was the only one I saw too I wanted two of them I use this a lot it's this one millimeter hemp cord they only had the thicker one so I was really sad um but yeah I did grab one of these in this like tan color khaki color and then I also grabbed this one this is one millimeter hemp cord as well this looks way thicker though so i don't know if like that's a lie i just honest this is way thicker than this but i did grab it because it's white and they didn't have like one millimeter or i guess this is it but thinner than this so i grabbed it because i need the white so i did get that and then from the paper studio i got more chiffon ribbon i've shared these before i've never gotten the white or the cream color so i did grab one of them they're 6.99 for um three yards each so grab that and then for my daughter she hasn't seen this yet you guys when i go shopping it could be at a grocery store chris and i when especially when we're like even when we're not with her or we go to the store alone, Chris will go to the gas station and find something for her. Like whether it's a keychain, a random keychain or something, we get it for her because we love seeing her happy. I don't know. That's a problem. <laughs> I know once my son gets to that age too, it's going to be the same thing. But um, I saw this cute Hello Kitty and Friends sensory dough kit. And like I said earlier, she loves Play-Doh. So this one comes with like glitters, little sticker or um, like erasers maybe that you can throw in it. It comes with a pink little um, Play-Doh kneader. Um, so I just thought that was really cute. Or rolling pin. Sorry, not kneader, but rolling pin. So, yeah, that's really cool. This is what it comes with. It is $25, but I don't know. I just think that this is really cute. I love the colors, and I know she'll have fun with this. And it's a sensory thing, so why not? So I did get that for her. And then from the bead section, from the kids' bead section, I should say, um, I noticed that they combined like the kids beads, the alphabet beads and stuff um, by the bead design company, like the pony beads, sorry, the pony beads, they combined it with like the actual beads. But, I, but yeah, so um, like I said, I don't know if that's how all the stores are. Um, I usually like to go to a different one because it's bigger, but sometimes if it's just for one thing, I go to the smaller one. Um, so I found these baby pink alphabet beads. So I grabbed two because sometimes there's just not enough vowels. So I grabbed two because they were $4.49 and they, um, the bead design company was actually 40% off. So I thought that was a great deal for pink alpha beads. So I got two of those. And then I actually even grabbed a new snow text because, again, I'm going to be working on some stuff. And you guys, I've been paying way more on Amazon for this stuff. And it's only $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. And I finally found found where you can actually buy this stuff I think it was in the paint section and yeah I just never knew that so I'm glad that I know that they sell that there um and for that cheap so um to get that because if you guys remember my uh, Christmas in July video I ran out of or my snow text was so like getting dried out so I needed some new one a new one and there it is um and then I got this I saw this was only $4.99 it wasn't on sale but I loved this postcard stamp. I really did not need it, but oh well. I love postcards, so I did get that stamp. And then back to the beads, you guys. This is the last of my haul, are the beads. So I finally gave in because these beads were only $2.99 each. Well, these two were $2.99 each. 
and they are the clay those polymer clay beads i have some in my stash but not from hobby lobby so i got this set here and this one's not showing up as bright but this is a neon pink color it's like a really neon pink so i got those two sets and those were each 2.99 and then these ones were 3.99 i'm not sure why this one's 3.99 it only comes with three this one comes with four so i understand that but anyway and these are more of the warmer colors again another hot pink which i'm not mad about so i got those i don't need beads you guys i don't know why i was in this section but um i found these clay mini peppermints they were 2.99 and the jewelry shop was 50 percent off i think or 40 so i just grabbed it i thought i could just pick at them when i need a certain color because i wouldn't use all of these at once but yeah i thought i would go ahead and grab it I think it'll oh yeah show better like that and for 2.99 that's not bad so <laughs> i did grab that um and you guys they had some of the um clay pieces in larger you know jars and they're the inclusions for their um resin stuff and it's where the resin stuff is that you can find them but i grabbed the big one of the hearts i didn't grab any of the other ones i was tempted for the mermaid one but I didn't get it. They're only $5.49. Well, this one was. Sorry, didn't mean to shake y'all. This is $5.49. And it's not even full. Look at this. It's funny. It ends like right here. Like right where the sticker is, it ends. Um, so it's not technically like all the way full. But um, yeah, this one has just a bunch of hearts in there. So I grabbed that one. Um, I think some of the other ones were like $6.99 or something. But yeah, I thought I would use this more than any of the other ones. And then the last three items, I saw this pack of like iridescent pastel beads. And you guys, I thought these were so pretty. I thought this would go well with this ephemera pack. And since, you know, I have the ephemera that goes with the paper pad, I now have these, you know, to use with that paper pad. Um, because it does have that like blue floral paper if you guys remember so I am so excited I can't wait to use these like I said I have a lot of beads so I tend to forget about them but we'll see <laughs> hopefully I will remember these but there was only one of these I would have probably grabbed two because I am loving this set but if you guys see it definitely grab it it's definitely worth it and so are these if you guys use glass seed beads these are the mini ones and i love using these in shakers but i grabbed these two sets because the pinks and the blues and they're only 3.99 each sorry guys the black is throwing my camera off but this is what they look like and each of um, the colors come in their own little case so it's not one big case they're in their own little ones so they do come separately so this is that case right here and then there's this one right here but there it is y'all my hobby lobby haul i i went there and when i left i had that regret you know like y'all know what i'm talking about i just was like i had so many things online that i really really wanted and i said no you can't get it and then i'm over here at hobby lobby spending the same amount of you know whatever all those online shop places cost and i missed out on it now because of freaking hobby lobby okay but anyway <laughs> enough of the regret i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um if you guys are interested in my last haul video i will have it linked down below um i also have videos that you may be interested in if you guys are interested so check down the description for all of that stuff um i hope that you guys can find the things that I found, um, especially these ephemera packs and the paper pads, I just love how well they go together. It just, it was like a match made in heaven. So hope you guys um, have a great day, whatever day it is that y'all are watching this. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.